Okay, so after following you for about a week now, I'm starting to see that your life is pretty basic. Uh, I see that you're in school. You love to get your coffee every morning. Um, you're not from the city. You're actually from Owings Mills. <laughs> I got that correct. You look like an Owings Mills girl. Real conservative. Um, but I know you're going through a lot right now. I mean, seeing the fact that your last two boyfriends have suddenly disappeared right in front of your own eyes, I can see what you mean. But again, I'm trying to save you, okay? You don't understand that. Yeah, I think you think it was a game the first time. Yeah, you didn't really take me serious. But this time, you're gonna see I'm serious. Full core pressure. <laughs> Thanks for coming in and talking. Well, look who we got so here. Problem, no problem. Nice to meet you, man. Play the game. All right, so. Basically, what we got so far, it sounds like th like this person's been following you for a mm -hmm. while. Now, mm -hmm. I just want you to break down everything that happened, um, like down to each event that you can remember. Okay. So, I first met this guy at the basketball court. Okay. He's all like, all like, you need some arc on that shot. You need some arc on that shot. I'm like, you bro, how you shot. gonna tell me what to do? And you about four foot five. Okay, I'm not that short. Mechanic shop. Do you normally go here? No. How'd you find this place? My normal mechanic was out of town for the weekend on vacation or something. And uh, I found this, sh this shop on Google. It said $49.99 for a mechanic. So I said, that's a good price. So I went there and... This guy was dead. He came in the mechanic shop and he wanted an oil change. But I gave him more than an oil change. I took the two rear pad brakes off of his tires. There was no way he was stopping. It was a rainstorm. There was no way he was going to stop. He should be dead. It's some little guy in there talking about, it's $100 to get an oil change. It's $100 to get an oil change. Nah, it's 100 right now. 100? Yeah, um. What y'all say it's 100? No. This guy right here, he was a monster. You damn right I was a monster. But I had to be. Who is this guy? I mean, he plays basketball for a community college that only has 200 students. Like, and he still doesn't get no time. He only get in the game to stretch and then sit back down. She does not need to be with a guy like this. So yeah, welcome to Tay Tay's Mechanic Shop. I got you covered, brother. <laughs> what he did to me. Look, how am I gonna shoot again? That arc he was talking about? What about that? When was the arc? When I was at the basketball court, he was talking about putting arc on my shot. I got arc on my shot. How you gonna tell me how to ball? I... Way to go, guys. Now you got the feds swarming into one of my mechanic shops? <sighs> wow. Mm, thanks to this guy's statement, I got fired from my mechanic job. The detectives came in, and my boss seen it and fired me right on the spot. Listen, if I have to go back to working at Amazon, everybody's getting me. I can't believe this is your last day on campus. I know, but things are getting really hectic. Last day? What? So you're moving tomorrow? Yes. I don't think they're going to find him. Can you, like, describe him to me so I can, like, be on the lookout for him at least? He's, like, 4'2". Okay, I'm not that short. He wears a red hat, like... Where does he be at? Girl, I don't know where he be's at. I bees in the trap. Literally, no, I'm just kidding. I'm telling you, like, you know that weird instinct where you feel like somebody is watching you? Yeah. That's the one that I get where I have to feel like I always have to look over. Hey, beautiful. Say what's up to the mailman. <laughs> See how quick I had to get a new job? So, do you have your flight and everything? Do you need help packing? I might need help packing. Um, I already booked my flight. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. How long is the flight? Honestly, I don't even know. I just booked it. It's just time to go. Go just study the whole way. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And I'm gonna be a nurse. Yes. So everything is gonna work out perfectly yes. fine. In Texas? Yes. Texas is lit. And you're gonna come out there. I scare you so much, but you wanted to leave? Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot for that. But I see that you got your friend here. What about her? Oh my gosh, like what are you gonna do about your friend? I'm pretty sure she's vulnerable. She's sad. Hmm, maybe I should keep her some company. <laughs> I mean, seeing as you guys were both roommates, I mean, you guys lived in the same place, 
I can just be a mailman. Best job in the world. I deliver mail to everyone around here. Uh, what, what's wrong with this broke mailbox? Oh okay, I totally did not mean to throw your mail on the ground like that. My bad. Wow, you are beautiful. This is an easy way to get my mind off the other girl. <laughs> I don't want to make it seem like I'm trying to get over you that fast, but I kind of am. You got a flight in the morning and you have your friend right here. So I think I might talk to her and see what she's about. She seems pretty interesting. <laughs> Now, what do these detectives think they're cooking up? Well, it doesn't even matter what time it is, um, only because we have to get this figured out. It's three people in the last three weeks. So that's the one that we got um, the fingerprints inside of the glove. Yeah, you know, hopefully we can get somewhere with that. Why are you so stressed out? I have been here all day. I got things to do. I got seven Goodness kids. Goodness gracious! Yes, I got seven kids. No, that I mean, man needs to get off of her. Too. I didn't even know you had a kid. I don't. It's my stepson, but... I am in his life, you know. Okay, and where's the stepdaddy award? But at the end of the day, we need to figure out what's going on, who Joe Mo is, and how all of this is happening. Being a detective got to be the hardest job in the world, especially when you don't have any witnesses. <laughs> I mean, you're never going to get me, man. Smart. So yeah. it's just gonna be some like just some slip up that they're gonna do. Somebody's gonna come around. They already know. Like, I already know. Yeah. So it's just, oh, right yeah, on time. Right. Hello. Thank you for coming down. I know you're under a lot of stress. Ah uh, no. I spoke too soon. Um. Don't do it, my love. Don't do it. A little bit like scary and oh, wow. confusing. How this is my second boyfriend. Mm. No. Um. I'm scared to walk around my house or walk around on campus or do anything. I always feel like I gotta watch over my back. Now let me ask you, um, is it anybody that you're seeing like, like a lot or like somebody that may be following you? I did see one guy. Um, he had on a weird hat. All right, so like when you're going around, like do you see or like notice that somebody's following you or anything like that? You know that weird instinct when you feel like somebody's watching you so you look over your shoulder i get that a lot and i've seen him a few times but i was unsure who he was you know you don't think that somebody's watching you don't think that you have to walk watch your back when you go outside but unfortunately you do okay now now do you know how tall he is usually about five foot about five foot now, not that short footprint here now i just want you to just look at this and see if if it's something that you remember That's it. That's it. This was it right here. Okay, see, now they just playing with me now. So we gotta call him. <sighs> what am I doing here? Thought you was a mechanic. Now you're a mailman? I'm really a mailman. That's my main job. Just know we got all day, man. We what is it about? We got all changes, so... Oil change? Or not? Listen, okay, I think I know what you're talking about. I was at the oil shop for a couple of days. They're trying to get some extra money. That's it. That's all. Hmm. What is this about? Well, we got a lot of information on you, man. So we could be here all day until you let us know. If you're thirsty, you're hungry. I think I know what this is about. Is it about that tall guy? The cheap guy? Who? Who's the cheap guy? Guy looked like he wanted to be in the NBA but never made it. He came into the shop. I mean, he wanted a $50 oil change. But they were $100. He didn't have the money. He tried to whip out a coupon on his phone. We don't take coupons there. It's either you have cash or you don't. So he didn't have cash. So how do you know he's a fake Michael Jordan if he was just getting oil change? Man, look at him. I think I seen a basketball in the back seat of his car when I was giving him the oil change. It was a basketball back there. And I'm like, you know, how long has this guy been playing basketball because he still hasn't made it? So look, let's just cut to the chase. Because we already know what you did, but I'm just here to let you know that the girl that you've been following, she's no longer here. So, so you can just come clean about everything that you've been doing, and um, just let us know how, how we can turn you in. Because we're going to get you. 
I haven't been following any girl around. I haven't. I've just been doing my orders, being a mailman, trying to deliver people packages for get Amazon. That's all I've been trying to do. It's hard to believe when the last two people that she's been seeing are no longer here. Really? Hopefully I'm not nice. I might be the victim here. Thank you.